All right, hey guys, welcome to Smash University. Of course, you already know Bam and Charles here. And today we're gonna be going over probably the most broken tech in this game. I, I think it could be. It's 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 a close, it's very close, right? Yeah. Um, and what we're gonna be talking about, of course, is Banjo's Regal Blaster. All right. So for those of you who don't know, it's his neutral B, and it you have turnaround cancels on this thing, and it's absolutely insane, right? Um, he gets a ton of new um, combo routes out of that. Already he can combo out of uh, his neutral B, but when you are able to do the cancels, you just get that much more frame advantage. Like, you're able to do Wonder Ring and all this craziness, you know? Um, and, and Or you could just cancel again. So, <laughs> hey, I think I, that, that, that sounds busted to me, man, to have a projectile like that, but... Uh, yeah, man, let's, let's check out the video, man. Let's see what they got. Yep, let's get into it. This is a tutorial on how to perform landing turnaround cancels with the Brigo Blaster. There's a lot of intricacies to the inputs of this tech and a lot of ways it can go wrong. I'm going to be showing inputs based on my personal control scheme shown, but the only control settings I recommend are having attack, jump, and grab on face buttons as well as shield on a trigger. The attack special smash macro is also useful for this as well as standing turnaround cancels, which I'll be covering in a separate video. The turnaround is the most difficult part, and the source of most issues. The turnaround can be input on frames 5 through 16 of the landing animation. However, the stick cannot enter the walk zone at all, or else you'll begin walking. Even if you perform the 1 60th of a second smash input required, the game can read a frame during the motion and still fail it. Thankfully, you can perform the turnaround input within 8 frames beforehand, and the game will read the stick on the first available frame. With the right timing, all you have to do is tap attack and smash the stick back in one motion. Holding the attack button and pressing the later inputs too early can also make the turnaround fail. If you want to reverse the entire process, you can turn around in the air before shooting. The turnaround cancels the end leg of the blaster, but it needs to be cancelled itself. It can be cancelled from the second frame onward by dropping through a platform, jumping, shooting, or a grab or special input. While most actions in this game are bufferable, the initial shot and the action that cancels the turnaround must be timed and executed well as each- Look at that frame advantage. <laughs> that Samus Bro. is still in hit stun, and I just need a shout out, his tag is useless. <laughs> Yes, that's the best part. That that's so literally the funny. best part of all the video. <laughs> I am useless. <laughs> Watch me body. Is, so what are you? If I'm so useless, funny. what are you? What are you? <laughs> this the is how is all the banjo too. mains feel, man. This is how they feel. <laughs> that's crazy. It's in their soul, man. <laughs> it's a rough life out there. But yeah, I mean, just look at this. This is like a clear Wonder Wing and stuff like that. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll continue watching the video. But yeah, it's like just... You saw all the different options you could cancel to. This thing looks pretty not wild. And I also want to note that this is really old too. This this video is over a year old. So this has been known for quite some time. Yeah. Each frame spin eats into your advantage. Having attack, grab, and jump on face buttons allows you to input your grab or jump as quickly as you can after shooting. Forces you to release the attack button and almost ensures that you can't be too fast. Dropping through a platform doesn't seem to have any particular use, though it is technically the quickest way to get airborne, and shooting to cancel mostly just looks cool and covers both sides. When cancelling with grab, take care to release the stick and tap the grab button as it's easy to buffer rules and spot dodges. If you are using specials like Wonder Wing or Grenade, you can instead cancel with the special input itself to avoid this issue. This loses a few frames to input overhead, but grounded combos are more lenient as they don't require a jump squad. Furthermore, the attack special with Smash Macro allows you to hold on, man. I'm literally watching this dude freaking cancel into down B. You know how long it takes for that move to happen, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> literally, you know how stupid that is? There's literally can just. <laughs> it's combo out of the world. It, this, this is not okay, man. It's funny because he's, okay? com he's comboing into the most laggiest things in his kit. Like, okay, yeah. what's the laggiest moves I got? Down B, uh, forward smash, uh, wonder wing. <laughs> like, the, all these moves have ridiculously long startups. <laughs> and it's so casual. Like, it just looks like he's bare like, oh, you know, maybe I'll buffer it sometimes, maybe I won't. It doesn't matter. They're, they're still in hit stun. Oh, Crazy. Man. 
by inputting a Wonder Wing and then pressing the A button. Canceling with jump is safer, gives you more freedom of movement, and allows you to keep the blaster out for double shots. But you lose 3 frames overall as blaster jump squad is 6 frames long as opposed to the standard 3. You can begin holding shield at any point during the input to buffer a put away on the first airborne frame. Landing turnaround cancels are very versatile and a major improvement to Brigo Blaster's strength and usage, but they still have limitations and execution barriers, so I hope Nintendo won't be forced to patch them. I'll be making a follow-up video on standing turnaround cancels, which are surprisingly more difficult and restrictive, but have one very good application. All right, man. Well, you know, I got my controller here, so it looks like it's time for me to uh, <laughs> do some of this toss input, man. I'm ready, dude. Okay, so this is this is Bam performing. It's clearly, I mean, you you may see it's a easy, play right? at the bottom of the screen, you know, all that stuff. Don't don't yeah. don't get caught up in the details, all right? Just <laughs> just just watch my tech, man. Just all this extra stuff. I don't even know why that's there. This is crazy. My switch was be messed up. Okay, okay. Oh, I, oh. I can hear his controller going. <laughs> so by the way, this is this, you can actually do this. Obviously, that was Tass. But that wasn't even the cancel we went over. So there's two types of cancels. Yep. Um, yeah. Go ahead. But yeah, there, there, there's two types of cancels. There's the smash cancel, which we're gonna have the link to both of them below. But there's the jump one that we w just watched, and this one you're actually canceling with like a, the, the the smash attack. And I believe you have to have smash stick to do it. But yeah, pretty pretty wild stuff right here. But yeah, we'll have both of the links to uh, both of those videos, the smash cancel one and the jump cancel one. But at the mm -hmm. end of the day, the main thing we want to like just showcase is this like pretty old tech, honestly. But it, it actually did not get patched out. So actually, yeah. it might have been a good thing that there wasn't too much hype around it. Uh, <laughs> the fact that the guy's name was... Like the tag was useless, man. Was so hey, funny. man, he it came in clutch, dude. Yeah. They probably saw him. They're like, "Yeah, oh, you're right. Useless. It is useless. <laughs> Forget this. <laughs> you know, call it off. No patch needed." But yeah, pretty wild yeah. tech. I mean, Banjo's neutral isn't necessarily bad. He has definitely one of the better disadvantages in the game because of grenade. And you know, if if Banjo players are able to get this Briegel blaster tech down to the point where like maybe you're not doing that task stuff but just hitting a Briegel into like a wonder wing for a co kill confirm like that's pretty mm -hmm. crazy you know what i mean or like just chaining it up platforms we've seen generally without the tech like being able to chain it up the up tilts being strong but you know being able to go in, into any move in your kit essentially is like crazy to me yeah no absolutely man i mean like there's so many extensions just right off the bat, you know, either it's like, you know, if you are able to do the cancel again, then go for it, you know, which is insanely hard. But even if you don't get those cancels, you can go for near drag downs into setups there. You can do the bear drag downs into F tilt, you know, uh, there's a ton of his kit that works really well with this. And yeah, it's insane. I, I still think the character is underrated. I think that a lot of it does come down from the Briegel Blaster it being so versatile and uh, being very combo oriented too. It just leads into everything in his kit. So like those cancels really make a difference on the character, you know. Um, but hopefully we'll see some people in the future. We've seen some Badinjos like start to get better at some of this stuff, but it's still like it's weird because I think he's one of the characters in the game where um, the theory and the hypothetical is leagues beyond um what is being done right now with the character uh so i do hope we'll see it so, again a lot of people gave up on the character but this is broken as shit yeah, <laughs> i don't know what else to say it's, it's crazy really crazy but it's yeah. just it's so hard because for a character's meta to get pushed you usually need top level representation and it's like a lot of top players especially with some of the other characters in this game that are pretty easy to use and like the success you can find with the amount of effort you put into it right that's where you see the divide right where a top player will be like oh i could you know spend years in the mountains like training on my switch with this or yeah. i can play pyramid or, or whatever right or like some yeah. like character that obviously you still need to be good at the game with but you don't have to like have those technical boundaries but nonetheless i think this uh 
this kind of tech is a very big deal and I hope there are banjo players that are able to get good enough as players and still have this tech behind them as well and really be able to showcase it at top level play. Uh, and w what do you guys think about the tech? I'm very curious to hear your opinions. Um, let us know in the comment, do you think this tech, you know, kind of brought your opinion up of banjo like maybe banjo is a little higher on your personal tier list now or maybe it's useless maybe it just doesn't do anything and you could let us know in the comments below but uh yeah until the next video class dismissed